Hello all, welcome to another FFT Man 1.38D video. This time is going to be a showcase series for Audubo, as we're going to be showcasing five Audubo's newest teams. So on top, and we're going to go with uh, all the random opponents that I've selected for him. <clears throat> Audubo on top is your team, uh, Shroom Squad, and on bottom, your first opponent is Wiz's team. It's basically a um, revamped uh, version of his Season 1 team. Audubo has <clears throat> Truffle the Squire, Shite Shiitake the Squire, uh, Amanita the Samurai, and Portabella the Scholar. Basically, <clears throat> a dual Samurai, a dual and a Squire, excuse me, with a Poison Rod, Dragon Rod, and MA Save Two Swords. So you could proc Poison and Bahamut. Squire with a Poison Bow, Attack Up, and PA Save. Samurai with Summon Magic. And a Scholar with Summon Magic as well. Alright. So basically we have Dual Wielder, Crossbow, Summon Magic, Summon Magic. And for Wiz, he has 1 The Mediator, 2 The Mediator, 3 The Thief, and 4 The Thief. Basically, you should remember his Season 1 team. This is basically two mediators that only knows insult and only insult for Toxkill. And these two also have Murasame, Kiyomori, and Monster Moon Droughts. And these thieves are item bots and they have re-raise and they know quicken, uh, quickening. Alright, so first match between Audubo and Wiz, we are going to map 61. Underground Book Storage, 5th Floor. So basically what you're looking for here is the AoE on Audubo and the status game from Wiz. So we got Audubo in the brown and Wiz in the blue. Mediators both start off with uh, Masa Moon. And the Thieves starts off with Quickening. They both have some Sasuke knives, not hidden knives this time. And we see another monster move, alright. Shiitake is going to go for haste. The samurai is going to rush forward. See a quick yell. And more quickening. One of the thieves is going to stay still. And more monster move. You can see a Berserk. Hits off the bat. Let's see how Audubo can react here. If, he's actually, if he is going to be able to. Truffle will rush forward. Dodges a second shot, which is actually very fortunate for Wiz. That could have proc Bahamut. Auto Potion. Shitake will rush forward. Bio 2, no Frog proc. You see an X potion right there. Media will go for a Kiyomori. As well as this mediator. And Thief's gonna rush forward. PA save, not bad damage. Definitely much improved as far as damage capability from two of those thieves compared to the actual season team. No uh, poison proc off the bio. <clears throat> MA save. And we're gonna see some more Kiyomori. Rendering um, Audubo, Audubo's team useless. We do see a Bahamut. Drop one of the mediators. Amanita will go for Masamu. Crossbow shot misses as due to the blind. Yeah, if that scholar gets uh, if that scholar uh, gets berserked, it's gonna be over for her. Double miss, and we're gonna see some Moogle go on here. And as four, we'll go for an X potion. 
I'm gonna need a, <clears throat> a rush board. Kiku again. Misses. Moogle does hit. Squires and critical. There's a PA save. Kiyomori again. Another Kiyomori. Again, double miss. Skull is looking for maybe a bile spell. We'll have to find out here. Bile. Auto potion. Kiku. First, let me get, get triggered. Auto potion. And. Not bad damage, but. Unfortunately, um, that wasn't really a critical hit of any sort. Now the Skull gets Berserk, so... Unless that Samurai can do something... Oh, Berserk missed. But that, that won't really matter because this match is all whizzes, no problem. And an arrow to get rid of the poison. Nice job. Room Blade Scholar, not working. The Samurai's gonna go for Sylph. Bag smack. And that Squire goes down. No canceling on the summon magic. See, so yeah, this one is definitely going to whiz here. Definite improvement on the thieves damage capabilities with the replacing hidden knives with the Sasuke knives Third time they they could not berserk that samurai, but I think too much damage has already been done however Squire gets up, but she goes right back down. And that other samurai will be going down very soon too. Now she's berserked. Oh, a crit. It's pretty impressive hitting through blind, but it's just gonna be a matter of time now. Before the samurai go down to well that. So Audubo, you lose this one. Uh, get ready for your next opponent. Match two in the showcase series is Audubo's team on top, which is known as Northern Winds, and um Northern Wind, and on bottom is Zalbag's team, known as Dark Fire. Audubo has Hannibal the Squire, Animal the Monk, Sheely the Wizard. And Kelly the Scholar. This is a wind absorbing team from the looks of it. Um, <clears throat> monk that can absorb earth, actually. With PA save overwhelm and flee in the jitsu. Uh, Squire with air knife concentrate. So he can do a decent amount of damage. I think he knows Grand Cross as well. Um, Wizard with magic attack up and summon magic. And Scholar with magic attack up and summon magic. Alright, so for Zawbag, he is uh, Kaylin the Wizard, or Kylin the Wizard, Robin the Archer, Heaven the Samurai, and Yin the Oracle. Basically here, this is a Dark absorbing Absorption team, with the exception of the Samurai who uh, does draw the uh, Kutetsu. Um, just a couple of quick comments about your team, Zawbag. I know that Audubon did a... a um, a uh, gauntlet series for you before, a trifecta series for you before, and I said this before in uh, post-match comments, your wizard with half of MP, she won't be running MP at any time soon, but I, pref I would think that short charge or magic, magic attack I might do her much better, because you could either A, get the spells off quicker, and B, or B, uh, hit harder, that's just my opinion. Archer with Equip Armor, uh, I get the HP bonus, but I don't think having Equip Armor is really worth it. I think if you want him to hit really hard, you should have gone for, like, 
attack up and twist the headband or a concentrate for twist headband or if you want more HP it can still do the same amount of damage why not just trade equip armor for attack up and switch up our booter for black hood or something like that that's just my opinion samurai I do like a lot but I would personally change item to like basic skill punch art that's just my opinion and Oracle um, very good sandbagger but um, <clears throat> the critical quick that means she can um, change spells if she needed to so that can be proven to be useful at times but we'll find out what happens here we are going to map one at the main gate of Eagle's castle sorry if this introduction was a little bit longer than usual or not as short as it should be but I just want to get those comments out of the way so we got Audible in the blue and Zawbag in the black. Animal will rush forward. Uh, Futon, but it's gonna get damage splitted. Cannibal hits a Grand Cross and double Dark Proc. That Squire having no blind protection. Wizard is about to go for a fire spell. Uh, that's Zawbag's wizard. And Audible's wizard is about to hit hard with a spell himself. Find out what that could be. Yin will move forward, not do much. Kelly will move forward and should go for poison. Oh, interesting. Tornado. Critical quick hits. Yin will go for looks to be a cure spell. Another fire. PA save. And a cure too. Robin will. Kill the monks despite blind. That's pretty impressive. Hannibal will go for Wish. Having a revive skill of good vertical tolerance is very useful. Oracle goes down the tornado. And fire takes down the monk. So we're even three on three. Robin goes for arrow shot, but, but does get blocked. And we do see a fairy bring back the monk, Hannibal, to go for accumulate. Rush back, Kylan will go for another spell. Kelly will go for. It looks to be another tornado. No counter magic. And we do see a fire too. Heaven the Samurai will bring back the Oracle just in time. And we're gonna see an ice spell, I think. And Kelly will go for more tornado. Ice and tornado. The yeah, Audible Scholar just hits very, very hard with those tornadoes. Grand Cross hitting the Oracle, huh, and not healing himself. We see an Ice Heal, but she inflicts Sloan herself. And that was a quick sweep for Audible right there. So Audible, you're one and one. Get ready for opponent number three. Next match in the and in the uh, showcase series is Audible's team on top, which is known as the Fearsome Fruit Maidens. And on bottom is Gaignan's team, known as Patch Me. Audible has Apple the Samurai, Orange the Squire, Cherry the Wizard, and Peer the Oracle. This is basically all females. Um, Samurai with uh, Equip Mage Gear and Flame Rod. Two-handed Flame Rod, obviously. And I'm guessing she has uh, a Sur for draw out. Just, just, just an assumption. Because I know Flame Rod Strength and Spire. Draw, another draw Squire. Well, another draw unit for Audible, I should say. But it's an Squire this time. 16 MA, Magic Attack up an MA save. So Audible's got two draw out uses off the bat. Um, Wizard with Summon Magic. And Oracle with uh, White Magic. And for Gagnon, he has... Shirogane the ninja, Kurogami the ninja, uh, Satanaka the archer, and, Ag and Agami, I'm sorry, Amagi the archer, there we go. Um, basically what we've got here is two ninjas with abandon and attack up, 
Hit Knight, Ninja Knight, so he's guaranteed to get those um, concentrated um, Kajasugis in, which hurt like hell. And these two are, they are support units, but they can inflict damage as well with Cover Fire. And they all have 10 speed too, if you'll notice here, so Gagnon should have the speed advantage in this match. We'll see though, we're going to map 98, which is outside Castlegate and Massalia. This should be indeed fun to watch. Autobo's in the red with all the girls, and Gagnon's in the yellow with two ninjas and two archers. So far everyone else is stepping forward. So everyone Audible Squad is tasted and regen. And let's see, Wiz is about to go for a spell. Back here we'll rush forward to go for Life Drain. Which hits. Fire. And that ninja goes down. And we are going to see a raise 2. And both archers will go for cover fire. Raise 2. It does connect. And Apple. Goes for Beeson Boat and connects. Hits the wizard by accident though. Marimasa, 234 damage. Wow. Cherry the wizard will go for another spell. And Shirogane will rush forward. Ouch. Another life drain. And we're going to see Smacks. Let's look at MA save. Fire. Double kill off fire. And Wish missed, so it's already two on three. Autobo is in the lead right now. The smack, another MA save. Shirogane will rush forward. Ice. Huh, <laughs> very nice. Diagnos is using Audible's wizard to his advantage. Another MA save. Two on one already. And nice use of Sir. Now it's one on one. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Come a fire, not enough damage. Wish hits. And can his oracle get the spell off in time? Yes, she will. Akira 2. Amagi will rush forward. Another back smack, another MA save. A lot of people are crystallizing off the bat here. Wizard gets up, so Audubo is now at a 3 on 1 advantage. Here. We'll go for a Paralyze. Mugo hits. And Paralyze gets blocked through the Aegis Shield. Three Crystals. So it's definitely three on one. And that one Archer alone won't have where it takes to fight off uh, two uh, three units by herself. All the Crystals have been eaten here. Bolt gets blocked. Life Drain hits. Does get triggered out of Potion. Apple will go for... Ooh! Flame Rod Smack. Very good. Triggered Fire 2 as well. I actually forgot about that. A nice finish the job, so... Good job, Audible. You took down arguably one of the tougher teams to go up against in the arena, as far as creatively goes. Get ready for opponent number four. Fourth match in the series is um, Audible's team on top, which is known as Spellstorm, and on bottom, Dragon Blade team, which is known as Lost Souls. Audible has Sandy the Oracle, Tandy the Oracle, Mandy the Wizard, and Danny the Scholar. This is basically an all mage team. Uh, two oracles with Faith Rod, the other one has Jin Yang and Tai Magic, the other one has Jin Yang and Summon Magic, um, Wizard with the Summon Magic, and, 
and a scholar with white magic, pretty much. All around magic team that Audubon has presented us here. And Dragon Blade has Dargoy the Archer, Aslot the Paladin, Slyker the Paladin, and Sabrina the Priest. This is basically um, a Blaze Gun Wielding Archer with 108 gems, magic attack up, and pilgrimage. So his damage is definitely going to be going higher and higher as the match progresses. Uh, Paladin with a Battle Axe, Abandon, plenty of evasion to go around. Um, Dual Women Paladin with Ancient and a Sleep Sword. And a Priest with Short Charge and Spike Futon. I'm guessing so she can increase the damage done with um, Sylph. Interestingly enough. Alright. So now we're going to be heading to um, map 68. Bethla Garrison. It's been a while since, since we actually seen this map. It's a pretty small map. Let's find out who wins here. We got Olivo in the black, all girls, and Dragon Blade in the red. See a quick monster move right there from Dargor. Ancelot will do nothing. Sandy will go for a spell off the bat. Off the bat. Andy will go for another spell. So the two are going to try to stack spells on that archer. Huh. Almost everyone on Audible's team is aiming for that one archer. Interesting. Danny's going to turn her attention to the priest. With Quake. 108 damage. Damage split. Stop. Hits. Paralyze also hits. And Bolt. Don't move. 191 damage, so a Merida stats effect on that one archer. He's don't move, don't active, and stop. Very nicely done by Audubo. See, what can Sabrina do? She's gonna try to go for something. Danny's gonna go for it to another Quake. Takes her down. Slow two. It's all of uh, Dragon Blade's team. Another don't move. Nice. So Audubon's ahead. Four on two. These mages are absolutely ripping him apart. Raise connects. Spiker will go for a Phoenix down as a priest. Mad Science hits. Two stops hit. Nice. And a Petrify hit. Wow, Audible's team is really on a roll here. Four on one already. And that Paladin stopped, so he's just about dead. Very quick sweep for Audible. Very quick sweep. That was a squash match if I ever saw one. Damn. Good job, Audubo. Get ready for your fifth and fucking final opponent. Last match in the showcase series is Audubo's team on top, guilty until proven innocent, and on bottom is Meloth's team, Magic Dude. Audubo has the cop, the squire, the suspect, the archer, the judge, the mediator, and the executioner, the squire. So what, what Audible is going on here is, has going on here is two units that can inflict innocent, a uh, white magic mediator, and a squire that can uh, do damage with uh, Nijitsu. Pretty much here. So this is all about innocent proccing and doing a lot more damage with uh, Nijitsu magic. Okay. And on bottom, Melroth has Rasslin, the uh, scholar, Gandalf, Geomancer, Elminster, the Oracle, and Dumbledore, the Bard. This is basically a magic oriented team. They're all males. Uh, short Charge Scholar with uh, Damn Split, Perfect Ring. So, not only makes him undead, but he can also absorb Dark. Absorb Earth as well, thanks to Earth Close. Uh, Geomancer with Defense Up. And absorb MP and MP up. So he's basically a white magic geomancer. Oracle of martial arts and punch art. Very interesting. 
And then Bard with Super Magic and Magic Attack up. Okay, so we are now heading towards map 63, Gorgoland Execution Site. Hope you all enjoyed this showcase series so far, and I hope that uh, you enjoyed this last matchup. We have Audubo in the black, and Maroth, I believe, is to be in the white. Yes, in the white. Stalls even looking for Shadow Shade or, or Earth Dragon. No stop rocks that trigger MA save. Meteor rushing forward. Now is going to go for 49% Petrify. Dumbledore will rush forward as well. Okay, Earth Dragon. MA save. Faith up. On a potion. A lot of reactions have been going off. Petrify misses. Salamander, it only hits one person. And that person got auto potion. Hawk, uh, Hawkside coming up. Judge is gonna rush forward. He's gonna go for a raise two. Executioner. Go for Futon. He's gonna hit Faith up. And Quake does hit. MA save. Cop is gonna go for Master Moon right there. Hawkseye. And raise two kill the undead scholar. Gandalf will go for Hell Ivy. No stop proc. He's got proc out of potion instead. Elmstone will move forward. Secret Fist. Alrighty. Dumbledore. We'll go for looks like another Salamander. And dropped uh, that squire actually. Uh, the female squire. Wish hits. And we see a mirror Same. Hawk's eye. Only a poison proc. Mimic Derevon only hit in the Oracle. Gandalf will go for Kamatachi. And don't act proc on that archer. Haha. Bard. We'll wake up the Oracle. Futon again. No faith up this time. Elmster will go for Chakra. Interesting, a martial arts Oracle. Does have a lot of PA though. See, Gandalf will go for Regen to get rid of the poison. So it's three on three, and it's pretty even between these two teams. Executioner will go for Futon, but gets blocked. You got really lucky too, considering that Geomancer is oiled. And Bard will go for more summon magic as the Oracle will go for more Chakra. Good idea, actually. Don't actually wear off. Odin doesn't hit. Gandalf will go for a Cure spell. And Bhutan, oh my god. That Geomancer just barely survived. Throw Stone will kill him though. The vibe does hit. Will the Undead Skull get back up? You have to wait for that one. Another Odin's coming up. Phoenix down in the Mediator. And it will wear off. And the Squire does get, uh, the Skull does get up just in the nick of time. Executioner will go for Futon. Faith up. Cure two. Kills the Scholar before he can get his spell off, which is very good. Block the Geomancer was able to block that one. That Squire is put in the critical thanks to Odin. And a cure two. More Faith Up. That bar is going to hit even harder now because of Faith Up. Secret Fist on the Squire. Thanks to that Oracle Suspect. Go for Innocent Proc, which will connect. Forcing that bar to melee now instead of casting spells. Now the Oracle has been innocent. That means Nijitsu is going to hurt like hell. Just you watch. Futon. One hit. 
KO on that Bard. Ouch. Geomancer doesn't go for a race too. Which does connect. Elmster. Misses a secret fist. Could be bad compat here. And Oracle's in critical now. Bar does not get put back to sleep. And Executioner will go for another... Another Sweet Song. Only 95 damage that time. Probably because of the Thief Hat. Gandalf will go for another race too. Which does connect. Mar Odin. Misses. Death Sentence uh, takes its toll on the female squire. Another Death Sentence. This is a pretty close match here. Phoenix down. Judge will go for like, another Mimic Derevon. Misses again. Executioner. Looks like a Futon, but it didn't really do a whole lot. No stop procs. We got a proc I may save instead. Dumbledore. We're gonna go for more uh, summon magic here. 37% Petrify. Guard Odin gets guarded once again. Ratson Scala gets right back up from undead. And there's a quake under the mediator. Regen is going to connect. Suspect. We'll go for another uh, Phoenix down here. Judge will probably go for a race here on the Undead Scholar. Yes, she will. Throw stone to cancel that charge. And the Scholar goes down again. Gandalf will go for more Hell Ivy. Geomancy being served as anti-sandbag. Elmster will go for a sleep. And that, that Meteor has been guarding summon magic left and right here. Mimic Derevon misses again. Oh, sleep hit. Misses. And hits the Archer. Wow. That Oracle got pretty lucky despite the low odds. So this should open up the match for Malroth here to take over. Mia's gonna go for a race too. Will Gandalf allow that to happen? Demon Fire, no oil proc. Race two does connect. And Petrify hits. Very nicely done. Top's gonna go forward. Uh instant proc means no major damage from that spell. Oracle nears another secret fist. Regen's gonna wear off. Judge will go for an Asuna. Sixty-one damage. Yeah, that's due to the innocent proc big time. And Asuna does hit. Gandalf will rush back and attack the archer. Skull gets up again from being undead. Quake misses. This has been back and forth between these two. And that's what I like to see here. Hawkside is coming up here, and another. Uh, this time is going to be a cure spell. Hawkside does connect. And cure 2 brings down the undead scholar once again. No, I may save that time. Wish hits. And we're going to see another Staff Whack. Another Phoenix down. Executioner will go for a Sweet Ton heal on himself. Gandalf will rush forward. No stop procs. Got a proc MA save. Dumbledore. Go for damage, but he's only gonna get auto potion. Secret uh, death sentence. He's gonna get inflicted again. I was about to say, killed the female squire. However, it's not 
enough right now because every death sentence that Meroth lands, Audible has always had that mediator right there to cast raise two. And with move MP up, it's been a great aid for Audible. But Meroth also has raise two in his presence. Master Moon, okay, Dumbledore can finally go back on the attack. So they go for another Odin Pot, 307 damage. And it does hit. Put Chakra. And that Oracle is going to hang back. Judge will go for a Mimic Derivon. Puts two people to sleep. So it looks like to me, audubon has got this one. That Geomancer can raise two all he wants. But Audubon's got things well under control. Skull gets back up again. He's just glutton for more punishment right now. Bave up again on that Oracle. So Elmster will go for looks like another spell. What that what could that be? Sleep paralyzed? What could that be? Judges will go for yet another race too. It's gonna be paralyzed. It's only one unit, that's that squire. Race two once again gets rid of the scholar. Gandalf will go for an Asuna. Which does hit. High potion. Okay. And sweet ton once again. Elmster will go for 59% Petrify this time. As soon as they get rid of the Don't Act, Cop will go for another Pole Smack. Petrify hits. Gandalf will jump up. Demon Fire, Oil Proc. The Audible has got too much Sandbag power right now. And the Innocence has been proven to be a bane for Maroth here. The only thing that is keeping Meroth in this thing is the fact that Geomancer is thrown around these race twos. If they can, if Audubon can just simply get rid of that Geomancer, then that's it. Another race two, Hawkeye hits. It is 4 on 2 in Audubon's favor. Executioner. Go for another Futon. Not as much damage on that bar. It's probably because he has high amount of hit faith here. Judge. Go for Smack. And Cop. And that bar will probably go down again. That's going to be like the 5th or 6th time that Skull got back up and be undead. Raise two hits again. Wow, Audible is really having a tough time putting Meroth away here, though. However, Audible is at an advantage right now, soon to be four on one. There's no way that Geomancer can raise two everyone back in this match all by himself. Sooner or later, he will get cut off. Oracle blocked that one that time. Bhutan missed. Poison will finally wear off. Another innocent proc. And that bar is going to be crystallizing soon. Sleep proc again. Wow. Another race two. Oracle takes damage bonus from sleep. Yeah, that bard's not going to be able to get any summon magic off anytime soon. Gets pushed to sleep once again. No stop rock. So it's right now 4 on 1. 
Instant on that Geomancer, so no raise twos out of him this time. Skull gets up again from being undead. Wow. Oil proc on that Squire. Regen's gonna wear off. And Media will go for yet another race. Oh, he's gonna go for a Cure Spell this time. But that's still gonna kill the Undead Scholar once again. Damage split. And Cure 2 kills him again. Instant on that Geo. 120 damage, Demon Fire, but then trigger MA save and Meroth's done here. Hunter Marisame. That Geomancer will go down sooner or later. Kamatachi. There was no don't act proc. I don't think that really matters though. Because 4 on 1 and that Geomancer stands no chance here. Bhutan is blocked again. And will he finally go down? Will the media be the one to finish him off? Not quite yet. But this poison will do it. Is it Welsh? After a long, grueling battle, Audible. Uh, wins this one. And Audible, you finished the showcase series. Four wins to one loss. GG and thank you all for watching.